Hello and welcome to Road Gear Reviews. I'm Josh from The Freedom Theory and today I'm reviewing the Yakima Front Loader Bike Rack. Stay tuned. Now this bike rack supports any Yakima crossbars, whether they're round, square, factory, or aerodynamic. The spread is 16 to 48 inches, and my guess is that it would support any rooftop crossbars, whether or not they're Yakima, because it's very universal. It also accommodates disc brakes, through axles, and full suspension, and it fits 20 to 29 inch wheels. That's something we really like since we have a baby now, and we want it to be able to fit a child's bike as well as our adult mountain bikes. It also supports the Yakima Love It Till You Leave It limited lifetime warranty. One of the things we love about it is that it requires no tools to install and they're actually telling the truth there. You know, a lot of the time you get a product and it says you, it doesn't require any tools to install, then you find out it really does. This is truly a toolless install. It's the easiest thing we've ever installed on our truck or RV. Now I want to tell you why we needed this bike rack. With the first RV that we had, we had a bumper mounted bike rack and that worked okay, but it was actually kind of hard to get the bikes on and off. And we ended up not using the bikes a lot for that reason. When we got this RV, there was no bumper, no hitch, and no way to weld a hitch onto it. So we were left using a ladder bike rack. Now that did not work very well for us at all. We secured our bikes as best we could. We tightened them down as much as we could. But still, with a 36-foot RV on rough roads, the back of the RV is just getting slammed around. And you can see where the bikes got deemed up, just bouncing against the ladder rack. You can also see, most noticeably, that a wheel came off. And that came off due to the quick release actually falling out on rough roads. We do still have the wheel. Thankfully, I had one of the straps going through it, and so it, the strap caught the wheel, but we still lost it and lost the quick release. Also, another issue with the ladder bike racks is that we couldn't cover ours in transit, and I think that's probably true for most people because the, because the bikes were actually hanging over a brake light, which was fine when they weren't covered, but if you did cover them, you would be covering one of your brake lights. Because of that, you can see all the rust that got on this bike. Even though I covered it as soon as we were done traveling, if we were traveling through rain, if we stopped to boondock, I immediately covered it. But even then, you can see how much rust got on it. Now, with the rooftop bike racks, if we want to cover it in transit, we can. It'll be a little noisy, but if we're going to be traveling through a lot of rain, we can cover it. And it's very easy to get the bikes on and off. Now, I do want to mention that we already have one of these on top of the truck, and we've traveled over a thousand miles with it. We're very happy with it, so this isn't just an unboxing. The one that you're seeing now is going to be for the bike that's broken, so that we can put it on the roof once the wheel is repaired. Now, I mentioned that this was a toolless install, and it truly is. You can see that on the front of it, and it can actually be mounted in reverse too, um, but on the front of it, it's got the different shapes here for different crossbars. You just slide it on and tighten it up and it's on. And then on the back portion or the front portion, if you mount it in reverse, you do the same thing right here. You just put this over the other crossbar and you just tighten it down with the T-bolt here. Now this piece is actually adjustable so it can slide back and forth. Like I said, from 16 to 48 inches is a spread. So the way that you mount this, and I'm going to show you, we're actually going to put it up on the roof, but I'll go ahead and point it out here too. You mount it by putting the front tire through this piece, bringing it up, and then you just tighten this down. And the back tire, sorry Kaylee, not going to hit you with the, the bike rack. The back tire just goes through this piece, which I can't get undone with one hand. <laughs> Sorry, but you can see that it just, there we go, it just goes through here and then you just put this through the wheel and clip it on. And I will say, Kaylee's filming right now, but it's a lot easier to get it on and off this big truck with two people. That is probably the only con of this bike rack is that if you've got a tall vehicle, it can be hard to get the bikes on and off. 
Thankfully I can handle it. So let me go ahead and show how to mount this. And I put the second rack on this way for demonstration purposes. Obviously they need to be a little bit farther apart, but this is a quick and easy way to do it for this demo. And now let me show you how you put the bike on. Now once you have the bike in position, you simply tighten this knob. And Yakima does make locks for these. They make their SKS locks, which you can buy separately. But as you can see, once it's tightened in there, what I said about it being a zero contact bike rack is absolutely true. And it holds it very, very stable in transit. Now there is also a place here. If you order the SKS locks, you can put one in here. And this way you can lock the bike to the frame. Of course, you could also use any bike lock for that. And then on the back tire, on the back tire, you simply latch it like this. And there you go. Now you can see that this is also adjustable for different sizes of tires so you've got a lot of flexibility like I said it can fit tires from 20 to 26 inches Now I do want to give honorable mention to a couple of different types of bike racks. Yakima actually has one called the High Roller, which is their upgraded version of this bike rack. And that one fits 26 to 29 inch tires. So if you have one of the fat bikes, as they're called, or the fat tires, you may want to consider that one instead. However, it does not fit children's bikes. Again, the minimum tire size for that is 26 inches, which is why we went with this rack instead. Also, as I mentioned, we used to use a bumper rack and that worked well. It was just a little harder to get the bikes on and off. And then the ladder rack also works well for some people. If you have an RV that is a little bit shorter, so there's not as much bounce, or if you don't move too frequently, the ladder rack could be a good and expensive option for you. So if you go to thefreedomtheory.com slash Yakima, that's thefreedomtheory.com slash Yakima, you can find links to purchase any of these racks. Also, as always, we're gonna have links in the description box down below. But for those of you who are just kind of listening to this in the background, just go to thefreedomtheory.com slash Yakima and you can find links to all of these types of racks. So I hope that you've enjoyed this review. I would love to hear from you guys. If you have any other types of products that you would like to see reviewed, please leave them down in the comments below. Again, we love hearing from you guys. Please also leave this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you on the road.